What is up guys, Rick Hackus here, and this is the 300 attack Praetorian foil. So this is the raid fusion rifle, and now I should say the vault of glass fusion rifle because the new raid is only a few days away. This is probably going to be the last 300 attack video just because of the new DLC and being able to upgrade uh, guns to 323 attack versions. Although I'm not sure if you can upgrade legendary uh, gear, I really hope you can. I've heard someone say with 100% certainty that you can, and I've heard someone say with 100% certainty that you can't, so I don't know what to believe. But in any event, this is a video going over whether or not it's worth upgrading the Praetorian Foil to 300 attack. Now you can only get the Praetorian Foil again from the Vault of Glass on hard, so you will have been a decently advanced player in order to get this gun. Now is it worth upgrading the 300 attack? Well, like for me, since it was a guaranteed fusion rifle, this was the only uh, purple fusion rifle I got at the time, so I definitely decide to upgrade this to 300 attack or just upgrade it uh, close to full relatively early just because I wanted to experience a really good fusion rifle. And this is what this is. This is just a really, really good fusion rifle, especially with the uh, accelerated coils attachment. Now this is going to let you charge quicker in between shots, which is definitely one of the downsides of a fusion rifle is you shoot a guy like you can use fusion rifles to close and medium range but when you're in close range if you shoot and miss or shoot and don't kill the charge between the next shot can be really detrimental so having accelerated coils being able to uh, decrease the time between those shots can really really help you in close range. You can also see that this gun absolutely melts people out to medium range and that's why like the fusion rifles are a little bit more useful in the end game content than something like the shotguns in my opinion. Yes, shotguns are more powerful and simply better in pure close range content. Like when I'm using the uh, found verdict I think it is, the raid shotgun, oh my goodness that destroys enemies way faster than the Praetorian foil could ever. But the fact that I have to be in such close proximity to my enemies when I'm doing extremely high level content, your character just gets weaker and weaker as the levels go on basically. So everything is one shotting you, everything is one meleeing you, you really shouldn't be, unless you're like a uh, defender titan playing around your bubble and having extra shields or something, it's really risky to be that close range. Now that's where something like the fusion rifle excels because it can deal with guys close range. It can sh one shot enemies like, oh shit there's something in front of me, you can one shot it with the Praetorian foil, but you can also extend its range out to medium range enough that you can avoid close range uh, encounters in general. So the extended range to medium range really really helps this gun's performance. Now is it worth upgrading to 300 attack? I would actually, I was kind of on the fence but I would say yes. Firstly when using it you can use this on Vault of Glass on hard. It has the extra damage against oracles, so like I've used this against oracles on the final boss fight, it does go through oracles very easily, uh, so you can utilize this, you kind of have to be really on your shit with aiming though. It is useful if you want a close range gun, like I would recommend leveling up the 300 if you have a really good uh, primary that can extend its range. Uh, the Hawkmoon is a great example. The Fate Bringer is another great example, something that you can deal with enemies at long range uh, with like a hand cannon or a scout rifle, but you might want have some trouble with medium or close range encounters. That is exactly when you'd want something like the Praetorian Foil, whereas if you're rocking the Epilogue, uh, you probably should be using a sniper rifle as your uh, secondary uh, weapon because you know the Epilogue wouldn't be the greatest at sniping the Hobgoblins that are shooting into the map on let's say the Templar fight. But again, if you have a gun like a scout rifle or a hand cannon that can extend to long range, you want to keep the medium range and close range encounters covered as well. So again, the Praetorian Foil is great for that. So I would actually recommend getting into 300, especially because your Ascendant shards are now completely worthless. The new raid is going to have new Ascendant materials, so your old Ascendant materials, garbage. So you're not going to need them when upgrading the new raid gear. You might as well use them on upgrading something like the Praetorian Foil. Now in the new raid, the up and coming raid, it hasn't come out yet, however, there is dedicated melee characters within the hive. So thralls, their only attack is to come right up to you and melee you. And so they are 100% going to try to get into a close range encounter, whereas the Vex really don't have any of those uh, save a couple of fanatics. So the Praetorian Foil, I believe, will really uh, excel 
in the new raid, especially since it can, if there's a bunch of thralls charging at you, the Praetorian Thrall can cut through um, three, two, three of them and one shot. So that's a pretty good advantage. And that's a pretty good thing for the Praetorian Foil. So I can envision this being pretty useful in the new raid simply because, again, there is actual dedicated melee characters within the hive. So you really do want your close range encounters covered. And so you might want something like a good fusion rifle like the Praetorian Foil. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more Destiny content. And as always, have a good day.